Hello, greetings, and welcome everyone to Where the Magic Happens. I am the Ninjaneer, and we are going to go ahead and jump right into this Aptera news update. It has been far too long for reasons that uh, I have already shared, but I will expand on at a later time. At any rate, the topics that we're talking about today are as follows. uh, Aptera might speak at a place. Uh, What is San Diego Innovation Day? Don't feed the trolls. Naysayers. Uh, What is the efficiency equation? Big change to the accelerator program. Aptera does a video where they climb a hill. Maxion is building a Mexico factory. Another day, another battery chemistry. Aptera is feeling the heat. The positively charged EV channel does it again. Tesla releases Project Highland and cuts prices again. The roster is filling out. And a 61% sales increase of electric cars in Europe. As you can imagine, that was a lot of topics. And this is going to be a very long video. So uh, buckle in, strap in, grab a, a snack or something, and we'll go ahead and get going here. So... Aptera asked us if we would like them to speak at an event called SXSW, also known as South by Southwest. Come to think of it, actually, I'm not really sure we should call it SXSW. Maybe it's S by SW. Anywho, uh, the basic idea was that if they if we wanted Aptera to speak, that we would need to vote on a website for the event. I was planning on covering this a little bit earlier, but unfortunately, I could not. Uh, (laughs) The window has unfortunately passed at this time, and so we don't exactly know if they made it in. Uh, But I did cast my vote, so I'm hoping that they will let us know sooner rather than later, but hopefully uh, before the event so we can go ahead and tune in and figure out whether or not you know they're there and listen to all their awesomeness about electric vehicles and solar vehicles and all that kind of jazz. Uh, I may ask them if they made it specifically in an email uh, to see if they get back to me so I can include it in my next video. But at this time, we don't know if they're actually uh, part of South by Southwest. In almost exactly two weeks, those in the San Diego area have the opportunity to experience Innovation Day 2023 hosted by San Diego University and Petco Park. Aptera will be there along with a ton of other companies and investors. According to the itinerary page, this event welcomes diverse attendees including decision makers, industry influencers, investors, technical experts, advisors, academics, entrepreneurs, marketing operations specialists, sales teams, appraising professionals, and students. It seems like a really great event for not just Aptera, but any startup that's looking for uh, eyes, exposure, and equity, which are the three most important E's out there. Yeah. Um, okay. So, all right, listen, uh, the naysayers are always going to be there, but they're just kind of getting a little bit ridiculous now. Um, yeah. And it's actually a little weird that they've started leveling their sites at Aptera. I don't know if there's some kind of, you know, weird agenda or something going on, but there's been a lot of uh, FUD happening. Uh, By the way, FUD is fear, uncertainty, and doubt for those who are unfamiliar with the term. Um, It's becoming kind of silly at this point, but there's a trend in human nature that I do not disagree with on its face, but it essentially says that there's a level of skepticism that is good or even healthy for uh, a human to have. But when the trend is more the exception than the rule, uh, I kind of question whether or not there is something to the line of logic to gauge whether or not I should, you know, pay attention and be more cognizant of that sort of um, skepticism toward a particular topic. But it turns out in the cases that I'm about to discuss, Uh, at least in my humble opinion, uh, the answer is no. Uh, But why is that is what we're going to kind of cover here for a moment. Um, In some cases, people express how impossible something is by comparing it to uh, old tech or um, in one case, uh, they issue car comparisons to uh, cars that are decades old um, that don't make any sense to compare um, other things like that to. Yeah, yeah, that's probably about, yeah, that's that's how I meant to say it. Um, 
there's no way that it could be that efficient arguments are starting to ramp up and they based well one channel based that information on a decade old vehicle and honestly it was kind of laughable and disingenuous at the least but like outright like misleading at its worst so yeah there was a lot of um there's a lot of stuff in that particular video um, I am not going to feed the trolls, so I'm not going to tell you guys where uh, the video came from because they don't deserve the clicks. But, um, yeah, essentially the logical fallacy that we can't do it because we haven't done it before. Um, <clears throat> if that logic held any weight, we would basically still be living in caves, hunting with spears and um, all that kind of stuff. Uh, now, don't let me shame you guys out of whatever interests you have in case you like um camping and and hunting with spears and things like that that's that's not what i'm trying to do here what i'm trying to say is the logic that says that we haven't done it before so we can't ever do it is is kind of silly and it it kind of permeated that particular point in that particular video the next one i'm going to talk about is people claiming that because someone practiced that they're automatically less credible or um, that they have to rehearse in order to hide something. I, there there was another uh, video that I saw that basically talked about the fact that uh, because Chris Anthony makes it a point to give a similar, if not the same answer to the similar, if not the same questions, um, it makes him less credible or what have you um so i'm going to go ahead and submit to you guys uh this guy right here um this gentleman uh i practice rehearse script rewrite uh all sorts of stuff my videos many more times than i think is probably healthy uh because i just I can't wait to talk about some recent news and so I, I kind of put that out really fast and don't necessarily script that but the stuff that I script I script and rehearse and redo um, dozens of times um, when I don't have a script it's probably way more than a dozen times um, but just because dozens of people didn't ask me the question um, I have rehearsed does not mean that I shouldn't rehearse or that rehearsing has some kind of inherent dishonesty to it um yeah i just from what i can see of how chris anthony interacts with the public and uh with interviewers and and with the media is he's just really excited and loves telling the story of aptera and he does it consistently because consistency is basically always better than the alternative um so yeah that it just it, it seems weird to me that that would be an argument for why Aptera is going to uh, be uh, a less credible or a less uh, noteworthy company because oh they 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 rehearse their answers, bro. Like as a YouTuber, um, as somebody who enjoys being prepared, I am basically always rehearsing, uh, rewriting, rescripting. Um, editing redoing like touching up like that's that stuff is so natural to me that i it, it was almost i was i was basically taken aback by the concept of somebody saying that because someone would do that that they are inherently less honest i i don't get that argument at all um anyway aptera can't make it up a hill was another uh common Thing. Uh, there's a Taylosa video that does an excellent job of addressing this point. So because this particular topic kind of makes my blood boil, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say watch the Taylosa video because he does a great job with the retort uh, and I'll point you guys that way. Um, it's always coming out next year, so it's never coming out. That is something else that um, has been a very pervasive thing that people have said. Um, just as a kind of reference point, fusion reactors have kind of been coming out in 10 years for the past 30 
some odd years and they just proved that fusion is capable of producing more energy than it took to fuse some months ago um the technology is getting closer the technology is progressing but just because people expect it to come out soon soon doesn't mean never if they missed the deadlines for the soon another great example was tesla because the cybertruck was coming out next year or even in the next few months for years as well and we currently stand on the cusp of cybertruck's release we all uh see the prototypes and and whatnot driving around or rather you might not have seen it but there are plenty of pictures if you look online for the cybertruck uh, multiple units shipping and uh, being distributed to we don't know where yet, but they're being tested they're, they're They exist. So yeah, just because he missed the deadline once or twice does not mean that automatically it is going to be um, never happening or never coming out or, or what have you. Um, that that logic uh, is never coming out because they said it's coming out a lot of times. Um, reminded me a little bit of Shigeru Miyamoto. Uh, this guy is uh, one of the big dogs at Nintendo. He's one of my favorite people of all time because his wit is very uh, cutting when it needs to be. But anyway, he said that a delayed game is eventually good, but a rushed game is forever bad. I think Aptera is trying to produce a good product. Um, and you can't release a good product extremely fast nine times out of ten um so yeah give them the time let them take that time um there's been several youtubers that have said the same like hey man they're they're working on it they're getting it together um i have personally seen the progress of the company i've shown you guys through the lens of a camera uh what i was able to see um what i was able to show uh it was it was a fantastic event and uh, it showed me that sometimes when you are not close enough to the the ground floor you don't necessarily get the opportunity to understand how far along someone is um not everybody can tell everything not everybody can show everything so just because you guys don't see you know finished apteras uh running around the roads testing does not mean that it's never going to happen it just means that it hasn't happened yet all right so um i just talked about some of the larger uh glaring wackadoo nonsensical stuff that i've seen out there online um, occasionally, I must admit, out of the dozens of objections and nonsensical arguments and trolling and noise and uh, what have you, the naysayers sometimes actually think of a valid and interesting question to talk about every so often. Uh, the question in this case was, what is the efficiency equation? Somebody, uh, just for a little bit of background here, somebody asked that question in the comments of one of the videos that was essentially FUD, and I decided that I should probably cover that question because essentially the answer that that individual received was so piss poor that I could not let it pass like I the information was bad y'all I did not copy the comment because I don't even want to give it the time of day but essentially there was a it was a non-answer and a terrible answer so I'm going to make an answer here so that in case that person ever happens to come along and, and come across my videos they will have the answer to the question that they asked that is actually the answer um, the equation for uh, for efficiency is essentially output divided by the input times 100 it's as simple as that um, yeah <laughs> the person that replied to this individual basically was not helpful so output divided by input times 100 that is the efficiency equation now that answer is normally expressed as a percentage and at this point i was going to go into a uh an example specifically related to automobiles but I wasn't quite sure a 45 minute math lesson that included trigonometry, calculus, and advanced physics would be uh, news per se. So um, I might save that for a later time. I feel like that would be a worthwhile uh, thing to cover. So 
yeah, that's man shoot. Uh, anyway, what I can say for certain is that the equation is actually a real thing. Uh, it can be solved. Um, and if we obtain a third party verified proof of the claims of efficiency that Aptera has uh, achieved, then they are literally on the bleeding edge of engineering. And um, I mean, as 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 pervasive or as provocative, there we go, as the phrase may have been that Chris says we they, they've solved the efficiency equation. I mean, it's kind of true if their efficiency claims are accurate and have been verified. So, yeah, it's exciting. It really is exciting to see the potential that Aptera can bring to the market. Um, at any rate, as an Aptera fan, I'm absolutely convinced that no one doesn't know about the number one slot change on the Accelerator program, but I'm going to go ahead and cover it anyway. I absolutely called this at the very beginning of the Accelerator program when everyone said that the numbers were going to be in the several hundreds of thousands range. Um, yeah, just kind of show you guys that I did say that. Here's a clip. It is getting crazy, which makes me kind of wonder what you uh, what the biggest number is going to be. Um, I kind of wonder what you guys think about it. Uh, my personal thought is that this top slot is going to end up being somebody who invests several million, like three to five million. Um, in fact, I'll give my guess now. I think the highest bid for the first slot is going to end up being around 3.5 to 3.7 million. That's I didn't realize I didn't realize the clip was so long. Anyway, um, yeah. So, uh, but we were selling. I'm sorry, but we are seeing the big hitters coming out uh, way earlier than I anticipated. Um, as I stated before, heck, at this point, I think it's even possible to see a ten million dollar investor. Um, that is pie in the sky crazy to me right now. But the pie in the sky crazy for me some months ago was the three and a half to four million that i said before um yeah yeah so at any rate the top slot of the accelerator program has hit above my expectations and is about to surpass about four million dollars uh four million dollars not billion wow um haptera recently put out a video where they showed the auto cycle climbing up a hill on a hot day more than once this video is almost certainly their answer to the fumble that uh, occurred during the interview from that one news network. Uh, they not only showed the vehicle moving at considerable speed, they took pictures and video on top of the 1000 plus foot hill. Now this next story I first heard from a YouTube channel called Free Power. Uh, I've talked about them on my channel before and how great their intro is. Um, at any rate, the report was that Maxion is building a solar production facility in Mexico. Uh, for those that don't know, Maxion is the solar panel provider, sorry, the solar cell provider for Aptera. This means that one of the Aptera's uh, suppliers will be closer to them, which will automatically mean that cost for shipping things to Aptera's assembly facility will be lower. Now, whether or not that will translate to uh, a price, um, a pricing change or what have you is still up for debate um, yeah if other suppliers do the same I have more confidence in the launch pricing um, being about where Chris Anthony and Steve Fambro announced it during the launch event there's a battery chemistry that's been a thing for a while but I'm covering it now because it's really starting to gain some verified data on its claims uh, third-party verified data um, at that Imagine, if you will, a battery with almost double the density of lithium batteries that weighs less because of the less intense cooling systems required, among other factors. I am talking about the NASA-developed Sulfur Selenium battery. I think this battery would be phenomenal for Aptera. Uh, almost 2,000 miles uh, on a charge is absolutely bonkers, but uh, forgetting to charge your car for two months while it's parked in the garage and still having a charge is... Yeah, it's just that much more flexibility and utility. Um, it would actually be kind of bananas to see that kind of um, that kind of number on a spreadsheet, on a piece of paper, what have you. Uh, but 
Another thing that would be great to see with respect to these batteries would be Aptera integrating them and maintaining the same range because that would cut the weight of their vehicle, therefore making the efficiency better, therefore making them need less batteries. It, it, cyclical. It is cyclical. Um, I do believe that at some point there's going to be a battery chemistry that makes Aptera um, so beneficial to uh, clients, customers, what have you, whatever you want to call them, that is going to be impossible to ignore. Um, I already believe that the prospect of the Aptera is more or less impossible to ignore for anybody that loves efficiency or uh, to save money. Uh, I am a proponent of both. Uh, most of my life, people have called me a cheapskate. Anyway, um, yeah, I can't wait to see how that battery chemistry um, changes the world. But also, I am excited to see the possibility of a battery of this type put into an Aptera. Perhaps because of the folks in my naysayer section, Aptera put out a post that basically echoed my words to my co-workers and my friends when I told them about Aptera. This vehicle will allow you to get free miles every day. Uh, if they allow the vehicles, uh, sorry, if they allow, if they allow the vehicle to also power your house, this could even reduce your electric bill. The possibilities really are fairly endless, and I talked about the practical applications of Aptera in one of my previous videos, but this post made me think it over again. Uh, yeah. For things that I liked, Drive the Lightning did an excellent interview with Chris McCammon and Audra Leslie. They really did ask questions I have never heard anyone else ask before. Um, they got answers to those questions, um, and I didn't even think about asking any of these questions when I was up there so yeah good on you guys um, combing the uh, combing the question pool for the the coolest uh, questions that nobody's asked yet I love the video wholeheartedly they also did an interview uh, with the solar yeah with the solar guy um, for <laughs> for the Aptera he is I cannot remember his name at all right now I'm gonna go ahead and put it like up there somewhere so you guys can see it but anyway they also did an interview with him uh, he talked about the the fact that you don't necessarily want to wax the car uh, because of the uh, loss in solar uh, efficiency that could be gain uh, that could be that could be there because of the wax blocking out UV and that kind of stuff um, yeah they had correspondence for this video, by the way. It wasn't actually the um, Drive the Lightning couple that normally runs around and does their thing. Uh, these correspondents were named Jerry and Helen. Uh, they did a fantastic job as well as Chris and Audra. They did a fantastic job answering the questions because uh, like, there were some out of the way, really cra uh, crazy questions. Um, I've said it once and I will say it again. I want, DT uh, I want to be like DTL when I grow up because they are... Yeah, they're like the gold standard to me when it comes to uh, interesting content and the like. <clears throat> Tesla released Project Highland, and it is a doozy. Uh, better range, updated looks, fewer components. Um, I'm thinking that I will enjoy my electric future even more now. Um, my plans for the future are an Aptera and a Tesla in my driveway. Um, it sounds more and more appealing as I say it as time goes by because the technologies just keep getting better and better. Uh, I will recap, uh, sorry, I will forego a recap and uh, link some of my favorites below so you can check out what other people thought of Project Highland because most of the videos that I'm going to link kind of echoed what I was thinking when I saw Project Highland myself. Um, I have been periodically checking in on how many people are in Aptera's executive team and the roster is really filling out. They have gone from about 7 or 8 to 16 in the team section of the Meet the Aptera team, um, specifically when it comes to the uh, executives. Every company I've ever known to balloon in employees was preparing for either uh, production or a project change uh, or a product change. So at least for me, this is very encouraging. Their confidence in being able to pay more people speaks volumes about how they feel about their financial prospects and makes it much more likely that Aptera is reaching a tipping point where cars will soon hit the road. 
we have an estimation from Chris Anthony that implies the Delta vehicles on the road by uh, the middle of next year and I am more and more inclined to believe that as time goes on. Uh, speaking of people that are amazing and uh, work as executives for Aptera, I was followed by an executive of Aptera. This gentleman was uh, the Asia Pacific region CEO. He builds relationships with um, places like China and what have you and uh, he followed me. What? Like what? What? What, what's he following me for? What? I, I certainly appreciate it, but um, I am uh, delighted and surprised that I'm being followed by uh, influential people um, from all walks of life, uh, including this gentleman. I'm going to put his name up here because I only saw it for like 20 seconds before I started recording the video. I just saw the badoop, somebody's following you. And I'm like, oh, who is this person? And I clicked on it and I said, oh, the CEO of what? Yeah, so yeah, it, I'm geeking out. It, it's, it was amazing. It was fantastic. People are taking notice of my videos and I like that. All right. Um, let's see. Oh, the numbers for EV sales year on year have been released in Europe. And July 2023 saw a 61% increase uh, month. Uh, sorry, in the month of July 2023 as compared to the month of July in 2022. That essentially means that there is a more or less undeniable trend in Europe that EVs are becoming more uh, prevalent. Now, to be absolutely transparent here, the share of the market as reported by Electric Viking is still in the 20% range uh, for overall sales and, and uh, all vehicles in Europe. But the growth is something that if continued at this pace, we'll see EVs become the dominant vehicles sold in Europe like all of Europe, not just sections of Europe, in five years or so by my estimation. That was it for this video, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you guys are uh, curious about my hand, um, I will do a video that I will where I will show the progress of my hands healing. Um, I'll share the story of what actually happened. Um, yeah, it's it's it really is ridiculous so at any point um if you guys are curious about that that's going to be my next video i'm hoping to release it this week it shouldn't take me that long to tell the story but um i kind of wanted to do a, a reenactment if you will so yeah uh you'll get to see if i can act uh spoiler alert but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you all uh sticking around to the end of the video um, please like, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff, do that stuff if you, if you feel the need. Um, even hit that dislike button if you didn't like the video for some reason because I, um, I believe that feedback is important. I like the positive and the negative. I'll take both in spades, uh, in heaping helpings. I appreciate you guys in advance. Um, yeah, man. Uh, again, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. There's a trend in human nature that I don't particularly disagree with, uh, or at least on its face, that says that it's it's good to be skeptical. There's a level of skepticism. Ooh, there's a level of skep a level of skepticism that goodness. Okay, I have to move my leg now because it has fallen irrevocably. Oh. Oh, irreparably asleep. Oh, Lord of Jesus. Okay. Mm, mm. Okay, we're going to switch over. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is... Um, I'm going to need a chair in here or something. This is getting real. Anyway, um, uh, the confidence in being able to pay more people for... Uh, uh, speaks kind of... Wow. Okay, we're just going to restart that section because I... Mm -mm. Mm -mm. We're going to do, do it again, y'all. We're going to do it again.